Boom, guys, listen, we're here by the pool. Amazing, huh? Enjoying some sun, getting some sunlight in. Listen, I wanna talk about humility, arrogance, and the balance that you need, all right? Um, I have some experience with this because there's a lot of people out there, all the young guys, even a lot of older guys that hasn't learned this, you know? They're not really matured, you know, because this is something you learn through maturity. But there's a balance, there's a fine balance to how to go about this. Some of the most successful people I know are ultra arrogant, not arrogant, ultra confident, and also ultra humble, right? A lot of people who don't understand this concept, they, they're, they're, going, they're the ones who are gonna look like them, look at them and be like, hey, this guy's an arrogant piece of shit, you know? Just like some people look at me and say, which I have no problem with, because I know that it's not me. I know I'm humble. I just know that, hey, that says more about them than me. Because you need to be able to be confident in your ability, but at the same time, learn to shut the fuck up and listen, all right? And it's, it's not just something that, you know, yeah, you know, I, I can say it, and then you go, do it, of course, but it's not a means to an end, because I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you a story. So when I got into, because well, when you go into the military, right, you have one year of mandatory service, and a lot of people there, they fall in love with the military, just like I did. I fall, fell in love with it when I was like 15, 14, 15. Even when I was a young kid, I was fascinated with it, right? But I got one, done with my mandatory year and I went through like a smaller selection just to go through uh, and uh, become a professional soldier, right? And when I got in, right, I thought I was the fucking king. I thought I was the king of the world. Now I get to roll with the big boys, right? Um, do my shit and just do what I love, right? I thought I was cool, I thought I was a gangster. And, you know, it takes some time to understand this. It doesn't even, it's not even necessarily something you realize there and then, but as you grow up and you, you go through that experience, you learn that, hey, you aren't really that big of a deal, right? You think that in that moment, but a few years down the line, it doesn't take that long, maybe like a year, maybe even, even in the moment sometimes, you just come to the realization that, hey, I'm actually, you know, I have a lot to learn, right? And so it took time for me to learn. I, I, it's interesting, how, I, because I realized this like after, because my the way I approach stuff, it changed there. I learned a lot about humility, you know, uh, the hard way there, uh, which I'm super grateful for. And then you realize after some time that Damn, there's always levels to this game. And like even now, as I'm, you know, here and everything, I know that in a few years time, I'm probably gonna be like, hey, back then, you know, I had a lot to learn still. And that's something that once you learn that, hey, there's always stuff to learn, you can up your confidence because you have that heightened level of humility and once you have that heightened level of humility, when you're up the confidence, then that gives you so much power to perform because you can go into any situation and be like, hell yeah, I got this, hell yeah, I got this because you now have the balance. You're not an arrogant piece of shit anymore, right? Um, big difference, big difference. And it's something that helps a lot. Uh, not just in the fact that you can perform better because yeah, confidence uh, and a bit of arrogance, a lot of ego is necessary for performance, um, which I'd be happy to break down for you guys. Uh, the shortened version of it is that when, I'll give you an, as an example, when I'm out running, I'm the only thing that matters, okay? I don't give a shit about anything else. Uh, unless it's like um, children and stuff, get the fuck out of my way, right? That's, that's what the ego does for one, to really perform, right? Um, but then it's like the, you stop with the running, uh, you're not that important anymore, right? You're not even that important at all, right? Uh, and then it's like time to listen to the coach or listen to whomever uh, and you just, you know, lower yourself and be like, hey, what could have we done better, right? That's what it's always about. Um, and so that's the example, right, for why we ego, ego is so important for that. But when it comes to, um, when, it, when you start doing this, right, when you start uh, working on becoming more humble, then that has an insane effect because you're basically looking into the future now. You basically know that, hey, there's always stuff to learn. And you also know that it's, it's a never ending process of becoming better. And that's, that's something you learn through that. It's not something 
that easy because if it was easy everyone would do it that's why you see all these people who are like all grown up and still haven't learned this because it's absolutely insane right uh which is why i'm so grateful for the lessons i've learned but um like you if you're watching this video right now you're probably a pussy you are probably a pussy right uh just know that and it's it really really is something to you know look in the mirror and be like hey i have a lot to learn all right because i know a lot of you guys are young guys and you you have so much to learn let me tell you okay you are a pussy most likely um maybe you built a bit of muscle in the gym you've been there for like one year thinking you're hard to kill maybe you even make some made some money online who knows right listen look in the mirror and talk to yourself realize that you are a pussy okay and what you need to do is you need to learn from people and when you do that you need to shut the fuck up okay a lot of the people i talk to like the younger guys who haven't learned this who really should get a slap in the face right just like i you know should have gotten i probably maybe i don't know if i even got a slap in the face who knows right but a lot of guys uh, who haven't learned this, right? I talk to them and I'm like, hey, yeah, we'll do this, right? This is gonna, you know, do really good for you. And they're like, yeah, well, okay, and all these bullshit, okay? What you need to do is be quiet, okay? Be quiet and shut the fuck up, okay? When someone who knows something that you don't is, uh, are talking. I do this, I be, I'm quiet, okay? I don't speak. How can you speak, right? This is like football, possession. This is Guardiola, Barcelona, prime Barcelona, 2010, if you guys know that. Uh, if the whole the whole mentality was that hey if we can just keep possession of the ball then the enemy can't score right because they don't have the ball it's the same principle if you are quiet then hey you can learn something if you're not quiet you can't learn something because if you're the one talking they can't give you the information okay so the first step to all this is be quiet realize you're a pussy and shut the fuck up okay very simple very simple but not easy okay big difference simple and easy it's not easy, but it is simple. And if you listen to this, and if you actually go out and do it, I swear to God, you'll come out on top, all right? Take care. Zoom, 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 zoom. And God bless. Boom!